Fast and easy money. Now I've got your attention. With this device, you can get paid within two seconds. It is really easy to use, no monthly fees, and you'll be printing money in no time. Well, at least printing receipts. This is the new Yoku Kumo Print. Before we get started, full disclosure, I'm not affiliated with Yoku. However, they did send the Kumo print to me with no expectations. That said, uh, the original Yoku Kumo video seemed to be quite popular. So I thought, well, let me make another one on the new device. Of course, the review will be unbiased. Um, no money changed hands. Yoku have got absolutely no say in the production of this video and they don't get to preview it before it is posted. So just keep that in mind. Also, who doesn't like a bit of discount? Um, so I've got you guys covered. If you want up to 100 Rand off your next Yoku purchase, uh, there is a link in the description. Go use that link, click on it. It'll take you to the official Yoku website and then they'll handle the rest of the purchase from there. So this is the new Yoku Kumo Print card machine and it is really simple to use. And if you use the link in the description to go and purchase your machine and you completed your profile on the Yoku website, your device will arrive pre-configured and you can literally turn it on and start accepting payments immediately. How awesome is that? Also uh, comparing it to the original Kumo, it's got all of the same features as the original one, except this one has got the added benefit that you can print a physical receipt and you can hand it to your customer. It's also got a more powerful battery. So what are some of the specs and features? So with this device, you're able to accept Visa and MasterCard. You can swipe, insert, tap to pay, Apple Pay, basically whatever you need, they have you covered. And it processes payments within two seconds. So comparing that to the original Kumo, that processed payments within three seconds. According to Yoku's website, this one only takes two. That is really, really fast. It's also a standalone device, so it doesn't require any additional SIM cards. You don't need to Bluetooth connect this to a secondary device. It's got inbuilt SIM cards. Well, they're not inbuilt, they are separate SIM cards, but it uses uh, unlimited 4G connectivity on the MTN and the Vodacom network. However, if you do still prefer to connect to a Wi-Fi network, that is still possible. So what are some of the hardware features of the device? The key feature of the Kumo print is, well, the built-in printer, and that enables you to print physical receipts and give it to your customer. So there is a hatch on the top. All you need to do is pop that open, insert your roll of paper, pull the loose end out, close the hatch and it's ready to print. It also uses a standard size 40 millimeter thermal paper roll, which you can buy from most stationery stores or online. Just like the original Kumo, the Kumo print has the same large HD touchscreen, and that makes it really easy to scroll through the various products in your catalog. It also makes it easy to see all of your sales history if that's something that you're into. Now talking about this large HD touchscreen, this works hand in hand with the new functionality that they've just upgraded. This is also both available on the original Kumo and the Kumo print. Both of these devices are now basically a POS system, or should I say they have POS functionality, but more about that later on in the video. The Kumo print does have a more powerful battery. It is 19.24 watt hours. And if we compare that to the original Kumo of 11.4 watt hours, it is clearly more powerful. Although it does need a bigger battery because it's got a built in printer, but I don't think it's anything really to worry about. It will probably still give you a full day service. Talking about the battery and charging, if you do need to charge the device, uh, on the left hand side is a USB C plug. Now you do get a charge brick all that you need to do is plug that in and then you can charge the device. I do believe that you also get a charging cradle for the card machine. I'd love to show you, but I can't because it wasn't sent to me. The only thing that was sent to me was the card machine. But nevertheless, um, if we look at the back, there are these little contact pads and I'm pretty sure that the cradle interfaces with our card machine through those little pads. It is probably gonna be an optional extra that you can purchase. On the back, there is also a built-in light and camera, and no, it's not for taking selfies. I did try, <laughs> but it's actually for taking a picture of your ID and submitting that as part of the Fika process. Now, do keep in mind that if you purchase your device through the Yoku website and complete uh, your registration through the Yoku website, then your device will arrive pre-configured. You won't need to do that. However, if you buy it through a third-party seller, 
Um, you can still sign up using the device itself and then you'll take a photo of your ID and submit it to Yoku like that. Um, it is also a still a paperless machine, so you can email or SMS receipts to your customers, but of course, with a built-in printer, if you choose, you can print a receipt and give it to your customer. So, what are some of the software features that the device has? So here's the kicker, that POS functionality I was telling you about earlier. With these devices, now you can create separate staff profiles with their own password to track activity, sales, and cash up, depending on who's using the device. You can also create various brands, categories and different products and there's a few more details that you can add through the Yoku website or through the Yoku app on your mobile phone. So what this means when you're making a sale is it's really simple now. All you can do is scroll to the product that you've previously added, select it and check out. It's really, really simple. No worries though, if you do still need to add in a custom amount, you can just select it, add in your custom amount and check out just like that. Now, if you don't need the print, if you wanna go for the cheaper option, just the straight original Yoku Kumo, and you're sure that you don't need the printer, you've still got that same functionality on this device. And also both devices, you can still add custom notes to each sale and still accept tips. So what do we get in the box and how do you make a sale? My Kumo print was delivered like this in a brown paper bag. Inside that paper bag is bubble wrap around the actual device box. Now the packaging is nice and sturdy, it's very well protected, it looks really nice, but what is actually important is what is inside. So as we slide the box open, the first thing we are greeted with is the Yoku Kumo Print card machine. It does look really nice, just like the original one did. It's a little bit bigger than I was expecting, but that's not really going to be any problem. It comes with a two-prong power outlet charging brick and it is USB-C. It comes with three rolls of paper, two of the rolls are inside the inner box and the third roll is already installed in the machine. Under the cover is some documentation, we'll check that out shortly, and one large sticker. In the envelope we have a quick start guide, a stand-up Yoku Kumo sign, which I clearly don't know how to put together, and three more stickers. Powering on the device is very simple. Just push and hold the power button on the left side for about five seconds, and you'll notice the screen turns on and the device starts booting up. Also note that this is all happening in real time and nothing has been sped up. If you purchased your device directly from Yoku, it should be pre-configured when it arrives. So after connecting to the 4G network, it automatically connects to your Yoku profile, asks you to confirm your business name, and in this case, yes, Birdsway is my business. It then continues the login process automatically and that's it. You are now ready to accept payments. How simple was that? To power off the device, we push and hold the power button, select power off and it turns off. To make a new sale is really simple. All we do is click the new sale button and then select from the various products we've got available to us. So I'm gonna select a stainless steel gas bottle stand and an electroplated gas bottle stand. Then we can view our cart and we can see both items are in the cart. And if that's all that the customer is gonna buy, we can click on charge, present the card machine to the customer and they can pay. Of course, I'm not gonna click on charge now because I don't wanna charge myself for my own items. So I'll just show you if we need to delete, maybe we added a product by mistake, we can just select a certain product and we can remove it. So we click remove and it's gone. We can also 
uh, add a note to a product we can add specific discount to a product but anyway uh, let's cancel this order and we will do a test sale so yoku does allow us to do a test sale so we'll enter a manual amount that's the bottom left hand corner icon over there we'll select 15 rand and then we can add that to our cart we go view our cart and everything looks correct and we can click on charge and we can present the card machine to our customer so i'm going to use apple pay and basically just holding my phone up there and there we go processing 15 rand payment approved that was really really fast so we've got the options now to send an sms receipt email receipt or printer receipt and of course this is the kumo print so let's print a receipt And just as simple as that, the receipt is printed and now we can tear it off and hand it to our customer. So what are the fees and costs? I'm happy to say that there are no monthly subscription fees, especially if you're a small business, this is really important. You are charged a small fee every time you make a successful sale. So the fee is 2.95% excluding VAT works out to be about 3.4% including VAT um, and that is on your transaction value amount. Also, if you want to purchase the device, currently they are on promotion for 1,399 Rand. I think the normal price is going to be 1,799 Rand or that may vary from time to time depending on when you guys are actually watching the video. Not to worry though, I did mention a discount earlier on. There is a link in the description, go check that out. If you use that link, you can get up to 100 Rand off your purchase it will take you through to the official yoku website and they'll take over the purchase and the registration process from there so how does the kumo print physically compare to the original kumo well i can tell you that the kumo print is quite a lot larger if we compare the two uh, we've got the original kumo and we've got the kumo print the screens are the same size and looking at it from the front they are very similar however looking at it from the side we can see that the original kumo is quite a lot more compact very easy to fit in your pocket um, whereas the kumo print is quite a lot thicker of course to house the bigger battery and it's got a built-in printer also as another comparison we have an iphone 11 and we've got the kumo print so it's still a relatively small device. Something else to keep in mind is that uh, when you buy your Kumo print, it doesn't come with the lanyard, but not to worry, uh, you're not really gonna be hanging this thing around your neck. <laughs> Also something else to keep in mind that if you do a lot of selling at markets and you need to charge the device using a power bank, of course it's got a USB-C input, but you'll have to get a separate USB-C charging cable as the original charge cable that comes or the charging uh, brick that comes with the device plugs directly into a power outlet. So just keep that in mind. So are there any cons? Now I'm gonna leave this up to you guys. Let us know in the comment section what you think about the Kumo print and if there are any changes or improvements that need to be made. I wonder how useful it would be if it could scan barcodes. There's one for you, Yoku. Also, uh, one more thing is that it comes with a standard one year warranty. If you found the video useful or entertaining, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe, I really would appreciate it. Let us know in the comments what you think about the Yoku Kumo print. Don't go anywhere yet, I think there's another video that you may be interested in and that is the review of the original Kumo. I will leave a link somewhere on screen. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Grant Burton, this is the Burton Build Studio and you guys will see me in the next video. Cheers.